There is an environment of impunity for crimes against journalists in Azerbaijan, which gives rise to self-censorship among journalists and suppression of free speech. This was the keynote in the roundtable held in IDFS Media Center on November 23rd. The roundtable was organized to mark the International Day to End Impunity. IDFS Chairman Amin Sinov noted that the day to end impunity coincides with the date of death of prominent Azerbaijan writer and journalist Rafik Tage, who was murdered last November. Hussainov emphasized that there have been more than 200 violent attacks on journalists in the past seven years and two journalists were murdered. Virtually none of these crimes were solved, which has resulted in a climate of complete impunity for those who wish to use violence to silence critical voices. Crown Information Agency Director Mehman Aliyev said that the International Day to End Impunity, launched in 2011, marks the anniversary of mass killings of journalists in Philippines in 2009. Aliyev expressed the opinion that this is a belated decision. It would be better to have established this day 20 years ago to attract international attention to the issue of impunity for crimes against journalists, suggested Aliyev. As for killing of Tage, the journalistic community conducted an independent investigation into his case. It found that no adequate official investigation was conducted to find the killers and doctors did nothing to save the life of Tage. The murder of Tage was used by government stakeholders to once again say that society is not ready for the adoption of a law on the criminalization of defamation, which may lead to violence against journalists. Aliyev said that the arrest of Tage in 2006 was justified by the government as intention to ensure his security, given threats from Islamists. Director of the Ghanaian Publishing House, Shahbaz Kudorle, speaking about the death of Tage, expressed the view that Tage fell victim to indifference from his colleagues and the society. If there was a large-scale campaign of support and solidarity with Tage, the doctors of the city clinical center would not be so negligent and the true reasons of such a serious crime would be investigated. He expressed doubt that the murder of Elmar Sinov and Rafik Tage would be solved even if there is a power change. Journalist Khadija Ismailova believes that one of the causes of impunity for crimes against journalists is the intolerance on the part of not only the government but also various other groups of the society. In particular, Iranian ayatollahs are guilty for the death of Tagi, no matter who has committed this crime, and the Islamists in Azerbaijan supported the persecution and threats of Tagi. Ismailova stressed that she meant radical Islamists and not all the Muslims. With regard to the investigation on the violation of her privacy, Ismailova said that she had doubts about the investigation from the very beginning. My goal is to conduct my own investigation to expose their lies and bring shame on them and make them feel sorry for having committed it, said Ismailova. The meeting ended with the adoption of a statement demanding to solve all crimes against journalists, to stop their harassment and intimidation, and to immediately release nine journalists and three human rights activists who have been arrested in connection with freedom of expression. The roundtable was followed by a visit to the grave of late journalist Afik Tage, who is widely considered to have been targeted for free speech.